It's Fox Flavor on a Tuesday, though, here, and our friends from Medina Love Creek Orchards are back. My diet will start tomorrow because this is impossible to put this in front of me, Brian, and not dig in here. Um, we're going to talk about pumpkins and the fall in just a little bit, but this is apple season, right? This is the time where people can go out to your place in Medina and literally pick their own apples. That's correct. A lot of people call us up in October because they're used to up north picking apples in October, and our apple season actually starts a lot sooner. When they've got snow on the ground up north, we've already got apples on the trees down south. You do, and there are tons of varieties of different apples. You brought some of them with us, but what would be an idea, of, or give us an idea of what people would see and what are the apples that are really in season right now? Okay. Right now, if you come out to the orchard, we're picking galas. Uh, and that's what we have the most apples of, and they're a nice small size, and it's wonderful for kids to eat. They're, they're mm -hmm. wonderfully sweet, and you give a big apple to a kid, they take a few bites and they're done. A child can finish this entire apple. Uh, if you want to uh, have a tartar apple, we're also picking Jonathan's right now in John of Gold's. And this is the Jonathan. It's a wonderful apple for cooking. It's nice and tart. It retains its flavor when you cook it, and it retains its texture. Uh, and then we've also got the John of Gold, which is also an apple you can cook with. Uh, and it's uh, also a good juicing apple, and if you wait till they start turning a little bit yellowish, they'll start to sweeten up. Okay, and some people, uh, Brian, watching this might say, wait a, minute, wait a minute, where are the red apples? The red apples, we actually do have some red delicious, which yeah. will be early, ready in uh, early August. Okay. Uh, but uh, most of the apples out there actually are green, yellow, with just hints of red. Yeah, and this is an opportunity, again, you can literally go out there, you don't charge for the parking, you do not charge admission. People go and pick their own apples and then they just pay for it by the pound as they would at a grocery store. That's correct. And uh, I do have to mention that if you can't make it all the way out to our place, uh, Greenfields does carry our Gala apples right okay. now. So. Okay. Good to know. And then just a, what, a half a mile down from the orchard, you have this wonderful restaurant. You sell all of these products and a lot of the apples that come from your orchard turn into these amazing things. So what have you brought Absolutely. with us today here? Uh, we make a whole bunch of different cookies. And one cookie, cookie I'd like to talk about is our uh, Orange Dream cookie. Uh, it's similar to a macadamia nut, except uh, we use pecans because this is Texas. Right. And we put apples in it, we put a hint of orange rind. Uh, and then, of course, we make uh, turnovers, turnovers, which are spiced right uh, apples. And then the uh, strudels uh, are the same spiced apples, with, but with coconuts, raisins, and, uh, and pecans in it. And then, of course, our famous apple pies. The famous pie, which we mentioned, so you start with five pounds of unprocessed apples beneath that crust, right? That's correct. And this is a, a recipe, I mean, this is something that's synonymous with your place. What can you tell us, I know you can't give away the, the, the secrets, but what can you tell us about the history behind that pie? Well, the, uh, the whole concept of the big pies we like to think started with us. Back in the days of the uh, Apple Festival and everybody was trying to find some way to make their product special to win the competitions, Carol Adams decided to just keep doming the apples on and made this big apple pie. And there's some other folks out there making large apple pies, but it started with us. And uh, it's apples, it's butter, it's all that good stuff that you shouldn't be eating every day, but it's wonderful for all special treats. All the food treat. groups, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like hey, but you ship these things all over the world, right? We do. Yeah. Uh, we, we do a lot of shipping for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, yeah. and then for people's birthdays and corporate orders. Love it. All right, we want to mention here in the last few seconds, uh, not too early to think about the fall, and you have this amazing pumpkin patch that I know is going to be a hit here come October, right? Absolutely. And... Uh, your, your family's been coming out for several been years, there, yeah, and yeah. Uh, we love having all these folks come out. We have about fifteen to 20,000 people coming from uh, San Antonio, Austin area out to our pumpkin patch. Uh, there is an entry fee, no tr fee for parking. You can right. bring your own food. We have food vendors there, and we have loads of fun out there on the orchard grounds. Can't wait. That'll be here in October. If you'd like more information, there's the uh, website there, lovecreekorchards.com. We'll have all of this on our website at foxsanantonio.com. If you want to pick apples today, by the way, you guys open up at 9.30 this morning? Yes, we do. And you can pick every day. Sunday, it's a little later at 10.30. But you can pick up, uh, again, no charge for the parking for the admission. You just pick your apples and pay for them by the pound, and then you can make your own stuff if you want to. But fascinating stuff, and we appreciate you coming down from Medina to be with us this morning. Well, thank you, Good Ernie. To see you again. All right. Got to have an apple now, and we'll step aside. Actually, Monica has dibs on one of these, right? Yep, she yeah, wants we'll some Yeah, we'll take her, her apple here in just a second, and we'll be back after a break.